Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about using a light stand instead of a tripod for your camera support. This idea came to me while I was filming my tabletop guide, which is coming up, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So much fun stuff to cover there. But for that tutorial series, I was having a hard time because I needed to move cameras around and move them into really tight, weird, awkward spaces and get them really high. So raise the camera up quite a bit. And that's when I switched over from using a tripod to a light stand. Now I've done this in the past, but I've discovered some new gear that has made this really easy and a fantastic workflow and options. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of using light stands instead of tripods. And we'll talk about several different stands, different gear that makes this workflow fantastic. So you can quickly move your camera and tripod head between different stands for different uses and how this whole system just makes filming so much easier, especially for those of us who film YouTube videos and content like this by ourselves. No gear manufacturers or companies are sponsoring this video. That said, this video is supported by those of you who have purchased my camera guides, LUTs, and gear. Check the links in the description to learn more, and thank you guys so much for the continued support. So let's kick things off by talking about the pros of the system, then we'll dive into the gear I'm using here, because there's some really fun stuff there. So the first main pro to this is adjusting your height. It is so easy. If you need to change the angle of your camera, you simply loosen a single knob on your light stand, raise it up, lock it back down, and you're done. So that is a massive, massive speed adjustment coming from a tripod. The other thing is movement. I can simply pick this thing up because it's not that heavy, move it around, and then of course the footprint is tiny. I can sneak this into small spaces depending on the light stand that I'm using. And that brings me to gear. We're gonna get to the stands I recommend here in a second, but I wanna start with the star of the show, at least for me, and that's going to be this tripod head. I've done a setup like this in the past multiple times, but the tripod head is always the tricky thing because it's kind of heavy and putting it at the top of a pole makes things a little wobbly. However, this tripod head is incredible. It is from Small Rig. I don't remember the model, but I'll include it in the description along with everything else we're talking about. And the first thing is it's super tiny, as you can see here if I wrap my hand around it. But not only does this thing have a fluid pan and tilt head, but it also has this little silver knob, which allows us to level our tripod head, which is amazing. Now, normally you're not gonna need to do this on a stand, which is another pro, because once you balance it, as long as the stand isn't super janky or your floors aren't you know, problematic, it's going to stay level but it is really nice to be able to make that fine adjustment if things get a little out of whack. When it comes to mounting your camera, you can use the included Arca Swiss plate or any Arca Swiss plate that you want. And as you see with this setup, you can mount other stuff. So I use a big production monitor, so I have a wireless transmitter off to the side here. I'm also able to hang my headphones so I can quickly check audio levels and then get them out of the way, which is really important when you're filming yourself by yourself to be able to check your levels. And all of this can move super fast with a single stand. And that brings me to the actual stands. Now you can go with really anything here, but there are three to four that I would recommend and I've used and has worked really well. The first is going to be a Kame TV set of sticks. And what I love about these is how small they pack down. The fact that they are air cushioned, which means if you loosen a knob and your camera starts to drop, it'll actually slowly descend, which is really nice. And I also really like that the spigot at the top is removable and that allows us to easily mount a tripod head or swap heads out or just add a quick release system to our head and add it to other stands as well as being able to insert it at 90 degrees for tabletop setups which is really convenient. By the way stay subscribed I have a huge tabletop guide coming that I'm going to be pulling videos from here on the channel. Lots of fun stuff can't wait to share it. Another thing I love about that stand is that the footprint can be really small you can collapse the legs a little bit and get a really nice small footprint which is great for tight spaces. The only thing I don't like about this stand compared to some of our other ones is going to be stability. It is a little wobbly once fully extended, especially if you're going to have some weight at the top. 
So often if you hit record and the camera's way high, it might kind of sway a little bit and you kind of have to stabilize it. But I've totally been able to live with this because once the camera is still, we're good to go unless I smack it or bump into it. Our next stand is a big upgrade when it comes to stability and I'm using it right now actually. This is the Impact Heavy Duty Light Stand. It is also air cushioned, but it is much sturdier. You can see here, if I lean the camera over and just let go, it very quickly stabilizes. So this one is going to be great. If you don't want any wobble, it's just going to stand there. Now it might wobble a little bit if you put your camera super high up into the air, but it does come with some downsides. And the main one is going to be uh, the footprint. So these legs can only collapse so far uh, before they're not usable anymore. So you're going to take up a little more room on the ground, but it's still going to be super fast. It still has a removable spigot here. So if I wanted to take my headphones off here and then remove this camera and add it to another stand, I can simply do this, just remove it and add it to another accessory with that spigot, which I love. The other pro to this one is the height. You can take this thing, I think 13 feet in the air, which is a whole nother reason to go with a light stand for your tripod is you can get camera angles you just can't achieve with a tripod, which is fantastic. So that's the Impact Heavy Duty Light Stand. The next stand is going to be another Impact Rolling Stand. So this thing's awesome because you can collapse the legs, but it has wheels built in. Now to mount the tripod head is a little different. This does not have a removable spigot. So I went out and purchased a Rapid Baby adapter, which looks like this. And I used a couple of washers to attach it to the tripod head. That gives us a nice quick release system for getting the head off of the stand if we wanna use it for an actual light. And this one isn't quite as steady as this guy here because the footprint is so much smaller with those castered wheels, but you can roll it around, which is great. So again, different use case if you wanna be rolling this thing a lot, that's really slick. Otherwise, these other stands will work just fine. Our final light stand is this tiny thing. So this is actually a background or floor stand. And as you can see, it folds up so I can unfold it here, throw this thing on the ground, and this essentially has a small baby receiver or spigot receiver. So I could actually, I'll do this right now, I'll set it down here on the desk. I'll loosen the spigot on the stand that has our tripod head. For now, I'm just going to unplug these cables on the camera. And now I can set the thing right down on this floor stand. This is going to allow you to get really low to the ground. Again, something you just can't do with most tripods. Whenever I'm ready to go back to my light stand setup, I just loosen a single knob, take the whole setup, and the whole tripod head moves with the camera, and we're ready to do up to 13 feet. So these two stands, this Impact one or the Came TV one, and this floor stand, give you an insane amount of versatility when it comes to the height of your camera. And this is really well made. Uh, it is fully metal, so it's nice and weighted. And there's threads down here on the one leg if you wanted to add a weight or other gear. So all of this sounds really exciting, but what are the cons to this system or going with a light stand instead of a tripod? Well, as we already kind of discussed, stability is a big one. Because tripods have such a wide footprint, they are going to be more stable. Also, there are three uh, contact points. You have three legs with a tripod, so you're getting a lot of stability. They're wider, whereas a light stand is a single pole, which is just not going to be as stable. Another con to using a light stand is going to be weight capacity. Now, you can use whatever the rating is on your light stand and go with that, but in general, tripods are going to have a higher uh, weight capacity. So if you're running a giant rig, you're not gonna be able to put it on a light stand. That said, for us YouTubers or content creators or anyone who just wants a really simple setup like this, this is gonna be more than adequate. And I've put a lot of weight on these, the tripod head, camera, lens, rigging, um, and all kinds of other gear, and I've not really had any issues. So definitely not perfect, and not for every scenario, but for those of us who want to quickly move cameras around and we have really snappy uh, production schedules, using a light stand is fantastic. And if you have the room for the footprint, which again is about the size of a tripod, this light stand from Impact is really, really great. I'm really enjoying how steady it is uh, and just how quickly I can make adjustments to my camera angles. 
which is just amazing if you're a YouTuber and you're just trying to move things along real quick, get several different setups shot. Uh, you really can't beat something like this. So that is gonna wrap up this video on light stands and using them instead of tripods. Check out all the information down in the description to learn more about the gear used. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, check out my camera guides, LUTs, and gear that we're now manufacturing over at Camera Foundry. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.